Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Football and welcome to the Match Day 2 UCL Fantasy Tips show. So as always, we will be going through the team selection, what I have um, like in my team right now at the time of recording. The captain picks, the best captain picks for this week and also the differential captain picks, a couple of them, and also the match predictions for this week as always. So um, very, very interesting, interesting week. This is a week where I've played my limitless chip Um when I was like 60% sure, usually I'm like 100% sure this is the week I'm going to play my limitless ship. I'm waiting for match day five or I'm waiting for match day six. So I'm going to play it in match day two this time around. It has been a bit difficult because most of the teams have tough fixtures and the ones that have easier fixtures are away from home than the likes of Bayern Munich and um, Arsenal. So it's going to be very, um, very difficult this week. Hopefully it actually works out. So at the moment, I have 10 players um, in my team. Uh, one more, uh, one extra player from the team selection video. Um, I will link that in the description. As always, make sure to check it out and it'll also be linked at the end screen or on the end screen. And um, as always, um, in case you haven't joined the league, that is the league code. The link is in the description. That is the prediction league. Um, the link is in the description as well. You get to see how um, I have predicted and how the other people in the group have predicted as well. The everything um, football family. And also finally, um, the the patron if you want to join the patron and get your team reviewed um even if you have any fpl questions i will be doing that there so make sure to join that if i um, want to support the page or the channel the link is in the description so let's get straight into it match day two tips so team selection this is what i have at the moment um i have gone with edison as my goalkeeper from the second day and then i have gone for runner from um Union Berlin, the first match day, they were very unlucky not to keep a clean sheet up against Real Madrid. They literally conceded in the 95th minute, and he did very, very well. He, he was um, he was on for like eight points, nine points that game. He could even have gotten play of the match if Bellingham didn't score. They'd have been looking at like 10 points. Made so many saves that game. Um, I think he was on like nine points by the time Real Madrid um, scored, and he went down to four points. I think they're going to do well again that they're at home to Braga. Maybe they might not keep a clinch, but I think looking at those Tuesday fixtures, he's one of those goalkeepers that um, he could easily keep a clinch. I don't think there's too many players who could keep a clinch from those Tuesday games. And uh, Ederson and Rona are my goalkeeper picks. Again, in time, if, if I was playing the wildcard or just having a normal team, I would not have these two good uh, two goalkeepers because they're 11 million in total. You wouldn't be able to um, get a, a, a stronger team um, out um, in terms of the rest of the team. But in terms of limitless, I don't want to uh, care about the budget. So those are my two um, goalkeepers. Um, defensively, I've gone for Cancelo, um, attacking potential mainly. I think Porto could easily score, but Cancelo is here for attacking potential and ball recoveries. Same with, with Alfonso Davis. Alfonso Davis, though, I do um, expect a clean sheet. If he keeps a clean sheet and also assists, you're looking at like 10 points. Dumfries as well, attacking potential mainly. I think they're going to do well against Benfica. So those are my three defensive picks. The other two defensive picks, I'm still yet to decide whether I'm going to go for a Real Madrid player or another Arsenal player or um, Theo Hernandez or am I going to go for a Dortmund player? I've still not yet decided. We'll have a better idea by the time I do the uh, deadline stream on Tuesday. Make sure to join that. Midfield-wise, I've gone for Bellingham. Um, as I said in the team selection, he is selected by so many people. So even if you're playing a limitless or Alka, just make sure you have him in because if he scores two goals and you removed him, it's going to be a killer for your team. Odegaard sticks in my team. Um, he always starts for Arsenal. Saka might get rested. He has all those injury knocks. He might get subbed off early. But Odegaard, you expect 90 minutes unless Arsenal are four goals up. And if Arsenal are four goals up, it means Odegaard has scored or assisted. And um, he could be player of the match because of how he plays and the a chance creation and the creativity all that even if he doesn't um, score assists he gets the assist before the assist so he's very good in terms of that Leroy Sun is also in my team um, I was gutted that didn't, didn't go for him for, for the Man United game because I knew he was going to do something but I just couldn't afford him against Copenhagen um, actually the past weekend against Leipzig both Sun and Kane scored as well um, so hopefully um, he can do the same here and then um, Harry Kane and Haaland up front, Haaland just the same as Bellingham. I don't really like that fixture away at Leipzig, but if Haaland ends up scoring like a hat trick and you don't have him, it's problems because they're almost owned by they're owned by almost 80%. And then hurricane penalties, all that Haaland takes the penalties, or they get sometimes takes the penalties. So those um those are the reasons as well why I'm going for this. Um, those players. I had the likes of Thuram and the likes of Tim and the original team, and I don't think they're gonna do well. And I had two Leipzig defenders as well. They are playing against Man City and not really comfortable um, in terms of that. So that is how my team is looking. Um, I have 10 players set. I am still look, looking to um, 
bring in five more players. Obviously, I think by tomorrow you're going to hear a bit of team news here and there. Maybe a couple of leaks that this one is injured or a couple of confirmation from the likes of Ancelotti. Someone like an Ancelotti usually gives you team news like by the Monday, by the time they're playing the Champions League. You already have the team news of who's going to be fit or who is not. You're going to hear if Saka is fit to play this game, all that, and then that might help me make the decision. That is the team selection. What about the captain? Um, Where's the captain picks? Captain picks. What about the captain picks? So Tuesday, as I said, there's not too many good fixtures, but I have gone for the Copenhagen um, Bayern Munich one. Copenhagen have considered 11 goals in um, nine um, games, nine, nine league games. So they rarely keep clinches at, um, in their league, I um, mean the Danish league. And Bayern Munich this season, they scored seven, they scored two against Leverkusen, another two against Leipzig. They put four past Man United. I think there's another time they scored five like two weeks ago. Bayern Munich are scoring a lot of goals, especially Harry Kane and Sane. Like if, like if you go, we could go for like four Bayern Munich players, and I was sure that Kane is starting, Sane is starting, Nabri is starting, or Coman is starting. I would go for like all, all four of them because they will score like five goals, and you'll find Kane has scored. Um, Kane, you'll find Kane has scored the first one, and then Sane has scored the second one. Kane assist the third one. Nabri goal. Sane assist the fourth one. Common goal. Kane assist the fifth one. Penalty. Kane scores, and all of a sudden you could have a five nil win, and you have three Bayern Munich players. This one has gotten fifteen points. This one has twelve. This one has ten. So it could work out for you, especially even defensively if they keep a clinched as well. Midfield, if you have the likes of Kimmich, you could get an extra point for. Um, obviously, um, a clean sheet for the midfield, and you can also get your ball recoveries. A lot of that. So. Copenhagen have considered 11 goals in those nine games. Um, by me, the forward players, we have to target them. Four clinches in nine games for Copenhagen, not too many. Uh, Bayern Munich have scored two plus goals this season in every match. Every single match in the league, um, in the Champions League, they've scored two plus goals. And as I've said, sometimes five goals, sometimes seven goals. And in the seven games Bayern uh, Munich have played this season, they've scored 26 goals. 26. So... At the time of recording, I wrote this down yesterday. I know they've played Leipzig after that. So you can make that eight games. They've scored 28 goals. So that's a lot of goals. That's a lot of goals. You're basically guaranteed two plus goals. So if you have Kane and Sonny and then Bayern Munich score two goals and they don't contribute, then that is um that is something that might not that definitely will not happen. Like the chances of that happening, like them scoring two and or three goals and then Kane and Sonny do not contribute, the chances of that happening very, very low. They've also scored um 12 goals in four away games already by Munich. So they're looking pretty good. Uh, very, very good. All of them, all the attacking players, all the midfield players like Sun, even if you want the likes of Kimmich, even if you want defenders like Alfonso Davis, all of them I think are very, very good picks this season. So those are my options for this. Um this um this match, the captain picks, though, I think Sunny Leroy Sunny is my captain pick, my first captain pick um, for this match day. And for all of those reasons, he's going to get an extra point as well in midfield. Kane obviously is a good one because he takes the penalties. Literally any of them, but I would go for Sunny because I think he's ex more explosive and Champions League fantasy always does well. So he is my captain for Tuesday. And then in terms of differential captain, I'm actually going to go for an Arsenal player. Last time out, I was scared. I didn't go for an Arsenal player. I was like, eh, this is the first time I saw that back in the Champions League in a while. I was wrong. 4 nil victory. All of the four players looked good defensive um defensively kept a clean sheet so i am going to pick um jesus as my differential captain for this week i think against Lons, he could shine he could shine and obviously get points for earning a penalty and all that and i think he's going to score again in that particular game on wednesday very very tough i have just stuck with this guy for now i'm not really 100 confident in that uh in that fixture but i think it could be like a 2-2 or something i'm going to fancy Haaland to score and then differential i'm going to go for an atletico madrid player either morata or griezmann in that particular game i wish i could have both of them i think they're going to do well against final usually atletico madrid are not the team usually go for like attackers like i want griezmann i want um depay i want this one usually it's defenders like back in the day I used to go for godin and you know all black and then you go for your rent all those players um when they uh at um all black is still at atletico the likes of godin and those guys i'm um, even trippy a couple of seasons ago but this season they're looking like they're actually scoring goals they just scored three goals past real madrid they scored seven against Vallecano, so they are scoring goals um so i've gone for those um two as differential picks for wednesday so those are my captain picks let me know any other players you're considering for in terms of um captaincy next up let's go to the match day um two predictions here we go 
as Fabrizio Romano would say. Salzburg won. We also said that one is my prediction for that first fixture. We will get the team news from that game. I really wish Bayern Munich could have been the first um, team to play. That's another reason I actually forgot to mention at the beginning. I usually like playing the limitless chip when um, we get like team news from Bayern Munich or Man City, but this time around, you're not going to get from any of them. But I've gone for Salzburg one. We also said that one. Let's see who's going to start in that game. Union Berlin, Braga, I've gone for one nil, so that would be good for my goalkeeper from Union Berlin. I'm expecting a clinch draw. I'm predicting a clinch it for them. I've gone for Inter Milan three, Benfica one. Um, Napoli, Real Madrid, I've gone for a two two draw. Napoli not convincing yet this season. Real Madrid, I mean, the, some shaky games, shaky performances like against Union Berlin, but still looking good. The likes of Hosselu missing chances. Um, I think they played, I re recently played a, um, a game in La Liga and Hosselu was missing so many chances, but they still get the job done. I think they're still top of the table in La Liga. So two to drain that one. That would be a good result for them away at Napoli. PSV, Sevilla, I've gone for PSV to beat Sevilla 2 1. Sevilla drew in the first game. PSV are thumped by Arsenal. So I think PSV will bounce back at home here. 2 1 win. Next game, Lons Arsenal have gone for a 3 0 um, Arsenal win. Arsenal very, very good away from home. I haven't considered a goal all season away from home. And they're playing against Lons. Lons started the season very, very poorly, but the last couple of games, um, they've won. So maybe they could bounce back, but only Arsenal keep a clean sheet there. I have also gone for Bayern Munich to beat Copenhagen 3 0. I've gone for my netted, the Galatasaray 1 1. Just not confident in the my netted um, team at all. I really wanted to go for the likes of Bruno and Rashford for this limitless chip, but I'm not confident in them. Um, so I've gone for a 1 1 draw there. Um, Antwerp and Shakti, the Nets have won for Shakti to beat Royal Antwerp 2 1. I mean, I've gone for that as my booster, but I might change that to my United. That, that game is very hard to predict. So don't, don't, don't know what to expect from Royal Antwerp at home. Um, Atletico Madrid final, I've gone for a 2 0 win to Atletico Madrid. 37% have actually predicted that as well. Um, Porto, Barcelona, 2-2. Two, two. So I'm expecting Cancelo to concede goals despite having him in my team. Maybe I should go for the likes of Lewandowski and um, Felix because they are, they are predi I'm predicting a 2-2 two, two and Felix has been scoring plenty of goals. So 2-2 two, two draw there. Um, same with Rest and Young Boys, just like the Royal and Trap game. Very hard to predict, but I've gone for a 2-2 two, two draw. They are sitting on the fence. 31% have predicted a 1-1, one, one, but I'm going for more goals. Leipzig, Man City, another 2-2 two, two draw. Uh, people are predicting 3-1 to Man City, 4-1 to Man City, 5-2 to Man City. I don't know if it's going to be like that. I mean, if it's going to be like that, gladly I will have um, Haaland in my team. But if if it, go, if it goes like that and you, and you have the likes of Foden and Haaland, then you're going to be in a good position. Um, I don't think so, though. Um, PSG, um, Newcastle have gone for PSG to beat Newcastle 3-2. I think um, Mbappe's quality and... Um, Maybe Gonzalo Ramos, Champions League experience, they're going to score against Newcastle. It's going to be 1-1, one, one, maybe 2-2, two, two, and then boom, Mbappe gets a penalty or something and makes it 3-2 quality, we'll tell. Uh, most people have gone for 2-1 to PSG. I wouldn't be surprised if Newcastle got something. And if they got something here, then Newcastle will be the real deal because they've just recently beaten Man City. They've recently drawn at San Siro against AC Milan. And if they beat PSG, then wow. I've gone for Dortmund to beat AC Milan 2-1. Um, many people expecting AC Milan to win. Interesting. And then the final one, I've gone for Lazio to beat Celtic 3-2. Maybe even maybe fewer goals, but I'm going for more open goal. I mean, even the goalkeeper is scoring now, so maybe give him another goal there. So three, two, to Lazio. So those are my predictions um, and um, the match selection as well, match day two team selection and um, the captain picks as well. It's going to be a very, very interesting week. Let me know uh, how your team is looking, which chip you're playing. Are you playing a chip? Are you saving the chips? Um, let me know in the comment section. As of now, thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one.